Thank you, Chairman McCall and Ranking Member Meeks. I'd like to first thank all three of you for your public service and your critical work. And I will begin uh, with Inspector General Shaw. So two days ago, uh, all of you released this report, Joint Oversight of the Ukraine Response, correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay. And in this joint report of all three Inspector Generals, on the very first page, you say, our offices have made oversight of the Ukraine response a top priority. You stand by that statement? I absolutely do. Okay. In this report, you also write, OIG investigations resulting from these and other allegations have not yet substantiated significant waste, fraud, or abuse. You stand by that statement? Yes, we do. Okay. Uh, so, Inspector General uh, Argarella, I'm going to ask you the same exact questions. Uh, you signed on and produced this comprehensive report? Yes. Okay. By the way, it's very well written. It has appendices. It uh, talks about ongoing projects and, and planned projects. Uh, you stand by the statement that oversight of the Ukraine response is a top priority, correct? I do. As well as a statement that you found uh, the allegations have not yet substantiated significant waste, fraud, or abuse, correct? I do. All right. Uh, Inspector General Storch, I'm going to ask you the same question. Uh, you signed on to this comprehensive report about Ukraine oversight? Absolutely, and thank you for the kind words about the report. Our folks worked hard on it, sir. Thank you, and you stand by a statement that Ukraine oversight is a top priority? Absolutely. And that you found no significant waste, fraud, or abuse, correct? That's correct. All right. Uh, does the chairman like to submit this report uh, into the record or acting chairman? Without objection, so ordered. Okay. Now I'm going to go through some of your individual statements. So I'll start with Inspector General Shaw. Uh, you write that state OIG has taken a strategic, agile, and coordinated approach to Ukraine response oversight, correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay. And then you further write, I have great confidence in the quality of Ukraine-related oversight work we have performed to date. You stand by that statement? I do. All right. And you say state OIG has a proven ability to conduct effective oversight in hybrid contexts. You stand by that statement? Yes, I do. And to date, you have found no diversion, correct? Correct. Okay. All right. So uh, next... I'd like to talk to Inspector General Angarella. Uh, you state that in previous testimony today that you've not identified any fraud or, or misuse. Is that correct so far? Yes, correct. We have and, not substantiated and, anything. And you've not, okay, anything, including you've not substantiated any diversion, correct? Correct. Okay. Uh, you also write that I would like to conclude my remarks with insurance that as head of USAID's Office of Inspector General, Congress and American people have my commitment to independent, transparent, and timely oversight of USAID's Ukraine response. You stand by that statement? Yes, I do. Okay, all right. I'd like to move on to uh, Inspector General Storch. Uh, previously, you had testified uh, that you found no instances of diversion, correct? We have not substantiated any uh, instances of diversion. So when correct. the U.S. provided Ukraine, uh, for example, with Stinger missiles and javelins uh, that uh, the Ukraine military got, they weren't diverting them to Russia or North Korea or uh, Iran or any place else, correct? We have not substantiated anything like that. In fact, they were using these weapons uh, to stop their unprovoked Russian aggression. Uh, in fact, uh, the Ukrainians have been paying uh, for this equipment with their blood. I also like to uh, point out uh, that you had, in addition to saying there was no diversion, uh, that you uh, have had agile reporting and had extraordinary uh, cooperation and it's extraordinary effort with all of your um, other OIG partners. Is that correct? Absolutely. Okay. All right. So um, I don't really know why we're holding this hearing. I mean, they literally, these OIG inspectors literally sent out a report two days ago that answers pretty much every question uh, at this hearing. Uh, I submit we're done here. I think we should talk about more important issues, like how do we make sure other countries don't give additional assistance to Russia? How do we make sure Ukraine has the longer range weapons they need to win this war? How do we make sure Ukraine has the air assets it needs to win this war? So instead of uh, trying to respond to false right wing talking points, by the way, this hearing totally demolish the right wing false talking point that somehow there has been effective oversight. Not only has there been effective oversight, it's also shown that there's been no diversion uh, and no uh, significant waste, fraud, and abuse. Thank you for your public service. I yield back.